winter has settled back in and the news hounds have hunkered <laughs> down in their world headquarters. And that's a good thing for us because they're all set with this week's edition of the news hounds. Here's the news hounds, Louie and Oliver with their world news roundup. This week on the news hounds, a real downward dog. Now that's a gender reveal. And a big birthday celebration. But first, meet Toadzilla. Australian park rangers believe they've stumbled upon a record-setting giant toad deep in the rainforest of the country's northern Queensland state. The toad was spotted by park ranger Kylie Gray, who says she was shocked by its size. She brought it back to the park office where it was weighed six pounds. The Guinness World Record for the largest toad was recorded in 19... 1991 and weighed 5.8 pounds. So it looks like Toadzilla is a record breaker. Workers at the Brookfield Zoo near Chicago helped wish Arnita a happy birthday. The reticulated giraffe is celebrating her sweet 16th birthday. She was served a special cake which was made of bran flakes, biscuits, and icy juice gumdrops. Frankly, Arnita seemed a bit more interested in the cake than the zookeeper serenade. In any event, happy sweet 16th. The Kansas City Zoo had a gender reveal party for one of its newborns. The zoo welcomed a baby rhinoceros to its family in December. The calf's father was given a ball to open that would reveal the baby's gender. The rhino not so gracefully knocked the ball around until it revealed pink confetti. The father, mother, and new baby girl are eastern black rhinos, which is a critically endangered species. Only about 740 of them live in the wild, so every birth is special. And finally, welcome to the world of puppy yoga. This London yoga class is like no other, thanks to this litter of six-week-old puppies. Doing the downward dog can be a challenge with real little dogs in your face, pulling on your hair, wanting to be held. Puppy yoga aims to combine the spiritual and physical benefits of the typical yoga class with the added mental boost of playing with cute puppies. And it doesn't just benefit the participants, it also helps socialize the puppies before they find new homes and sometimes meet their potential new owners right in class. The puppies this day are 10 pocket bullies, a smaller variant of the American Bulldog. Sounds like every one and every pup the winner here. And that's this week's edition of the News Hounds Now Update.